Rise to power, Napoleon's power began during the French Revolution. Born in Corsica in 1769, he rose through the ranks of the French military, displaying exceptional leadership and strategic acumen. In 1799, amid the chaos of the revolution, Napoleon staged a coup, overthrowing the Directory and establishing himself as First Consul of France. This marked the beginning of his authoritarian rule, which would soon evolve into outright dictatorship, too. Military campaigns Napoleon's military campaigns expanded the French Empire and solidifying his power. His strategic brilliance and the effectiveness of the Grande Arme allowed him to conquer vast territories across Europe. One of his most significant victories came at Austerlitz in 1805, where he decisively defeated a combined Austro-Russian army. This victory further enhanced Napoleon's reputation as a military genius and expanded French influence in Europe. However, Napoleon's ambitions ultimately led to overextension. The Peninsular War, fought against Spanish and Portuguese guerrillas, drained French resources and weakened Napoleon's hold on the Iberian Peninsula. Similarly, the disastrous invasion of Russia in 1812 proved to be a turning point in Napoleon's fortunes. The brutal Russian winter and scorched turf tactics inflicted heavy losses on the Grande Arme, hastening Napoleon's eventual downfall. Three reforms. Despite his reputation as a military conqueror, Napoleon was also a reformer who sought to modernize France and its territories. One of his most enduring legacies is the Napoleonic Code, a comprehensive legal system that standardized laws across France and promoted principles of equality before the law, religious tolerance, and property rights. The Napoleonic Code had a profound impact on legal systems around the world and laid the groundwork for many modern legal principles. In addition to legal reforms, Napoleon implemented various other changes aimed at centralizing power and promoting efficiency. He established centralized administrative structures, reorganized education, and promoted meritocracy within the civil service. These reforms helped to streamline governance and strengthen the authority of the central government. For Downfall Napoleon's downfall came in 1814 following a series of defeats and setbacks. Forced to abdicate, he was exiled to the island of Elba. However, his exile was short-lived as he escaped less than a year later and returned to France where he briefly regained power during the Hundred Days. This period culminated in the Battle of Waterloo where Napoleon suffered a defeat at the hands of the Duke of Wellington and Prussian. Following his defeat at Waterloo, Napoleon was exiled once again, this time to the remote island of St. Helena in the South Atlantic where he would spend the remainder of his days in captivity until his death in 1821. Despite his defeat, Napoleon's legacy shaped the course of European history for decades to come.